please help me. Let her go. I came alone. Nobody knows that I'm here. She's innocent. Ready for the time of your lives? All right. Bring swim trunks? Mom made me pack everything. Huh. Speaking of packing everything, you really need all of this? I need options, Dad. All right. Oh. Oh, God. It's like lifting a baby hippo. Whew. What's wrong with her? She's just adjusting to the divorce. Well, it's not final. You're filing papers. That's what people do when they separate. Well, you're the one who wants this divorce, Kevin. It's not what I want. I can't do this right now, okay? There's never a good time. You're always busy with something. Actually, it's my career that's constantly taking a back seat for you. Come on, you can't have time to just talk to me? I did, you never listened. <sighs> okay, let's not do this in front of the kids. Exactly. Stephanie, you're gonna break a nail using that old typewriter. I wrote my first novel on this. It's lucky. I sure hope so, because you need a bestseller. You free of the kids? They just left. All right, then let's do this. Say yeah! <laughs> the men in this place are smoking. You never pay attention. Oh, cheer up. With the kids gone, you have time to focus on your book. And I, as your agent, suggest you hurry up because you got a deadline with the publisher. This is the first time the kids have been on vacation without me. <laughs> is this the Stephanie I signed straight out of college? Wild, free, naughty. She was fun. She grew up, got married, had kids, and now she gets her life back. I have my career. And how supportive has Kevin been of your career? He was always in the office, never around when you were dealing with the kids. Oh, he's very busy. He's never even read your books. He thinks reading the jacket cover counts. My point exactly. I think you have an admirer. <gasps> oh, oh, no. He's looking your way. Go say hello. He's way too young. He's perfect in his sexual prime. Unlike men our age, willing to do anything to please you all night long. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what was the name of that woman in your first book? The one who dated younger guys? Vanessa. Yes, Vanessa. Vanessa was a modern woman who took what she wanted. She embraced life to the fullest, saving every moment. You wrote that. And then I killed her in the end because she was the embodiment of unrealistic desires. Her body was never found. She could have survived. Really? Maybe. But I don't want a boy toy. <sighs> okay. Time to get real. You're getting divorced, and that may not be your choice, but why should you suffer alone? Well, Kevin has all the fun. The truth is, right now, in this moment, you are a single woman. Embrace it. <laughs> to embracing it. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 
So tomorrow night, dinner and a movie? I would, but you need to write. The publisher wants a first draft before Christmas. But I need inspiration. Cheap on the wine and some candles. Bye. I forgot my phone. I have to go back in. Bye. Good night. Well, hello. I was hoping you'd come back. I found this on the table. I'm Brady. Thanks, Brady. And you are? Vanessa. So, do you have to go right away, or? I should. School night? Summer break. Then let me buy you a drink. <laughs> I'm at my limit. Dessert, then. Finish off the evening with something sweet. <laughs> you are way too young. 26. And I hear the chocolate cake is enticing. <sighs> Only if we share. So what is it you do? Still in college? No. A little bit of everything. Mainly investments. Into? Anything I find interesting. What about you? I write. Blogs. About food. Drinks. Anything, really. If a moment strikes me as interesting, I write about it. Life is about finding those special moments. Yeah, if I hadn't seen your phone on the table, if you hadn't come back to get it, if you hadn't stayed for dessert, this has become a moment. So it seems. So, Vanessa, what are you really looking for? I like surprises. You want to go somewhere? Thank you for dessert, Brady. It was nice meeting you. At least give me your number. Good night, Brady. Vanessa. Forgetting something? I swear, I put that in my purse. Don't go. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. I'll be waiting for your call. Book Stephen for next Thursday, and tell Dan I'll have a copy of the new hardback artwork on Tuesday. He hates the artwork. He's a writer. Tell him to leave the marketing to us. Whoa, it sounds like you're writing. That's great. I am on a roll, Shell. You remember how they didn't find Vanessa's body in the river? It's because she's still alive. I like that. I like that a lot. I feel like I should resurrect Vanessa. She's just got so much life to live. Hey, you sound different. What's going on with you? I took the advice from an old friend. Which advice? I've given you so much. <laughs> hey, I want to finish this chapter. I'll call you back.
beautiful. Thank you. This bridge is a really special place to me. Really? Why is that? It's one of the places my parents used to bring me when I was a kid. Sorry. It's okay. So, tomorrow, I was thinking we would go to these shops and we would just hang out all day. Just go from shop to shop. Ooh, I'm sorry, but I've got a friend coming over tomorrow. Who? Just a friend. We missed you. And it was a nurse shark. Maybe two feet, that barely counts. Does too. It has teeth. All sharks have teeth. Whale sharks don't. It's still teeth, buddy. It's called Valen. Look it up. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Mom, I have so many pictures to show you. Uh, yeah, I got him a camera. He's got a good eye. And me, a new phone. Hey, I'm going to go call Jenny. Can I use the computer to download all my new pictures? Sure. I thought we were going to talk about the phone thing. I know. She just, uh, can we talk civilly? Just being gone has made me think about us, kids, everything. So you signed the papers? No, and I don't want to. But the whole time we were at that resort, I just kept thinking, you should be there with us, you know? It didn't feel right. It didn't feel complete. I mean, babe, I miss everything about you. But you've been right about it all. I'm not there for you enough. I do work too much. I'm, I'm not here for the kids. I mean, you and me, we're good together. We make a good team. <laughs> and our kids, they need two parents that love each other, and are there for each other. And all of this is, it's just gonna make us stronger. I mean, I wanna be able to put this ring back on forever. Can we, can we give this, can we give a second chance, please? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. yes? Oh, okay. babe. I love you too. Is Dad moving back in? Yes, I am, buddy. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you, it feels so good to be home. I am so sorry, but I have plans with Shelly tonight. You're actually going to go out right now? It'll be quicker if I just get it out of the way. An hour, tops. Well, yeah, but we can just... You gotta do what you gotta do.
Brady, we need to talk. I... I'm sorry, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I was... I am... I was separated. My husband is... He's back, and he wants to make it work. You are an awesome guy. You made me feel alive. But I have a responsibility to my family and a history with my husband that I just, I can't give up. I'm sorry, but we have to end this. No, if you were serious about your marriage, you wouldn't have been with me in the first place. Sorry. Think of it as a summer romance. Something that was really fun, but it just could never last. I don't care if you were married. What we have is real. I care about you. I love you. I'm sorry, Brady. I just, I don't feel the same way about you. No, I can't accept that. You, you're just looking for an easy way out. You are going to find somebody your own age, and you're going to forget all about me. I have to go. Hey, Dad! It's the first day of school. I can't be late. Yep, I'm coming. Thanks. You ready? I was born ready. All right, kiddo, meet you in the car. First day of school. I know, they grow up so fast. What's that? Mm. <laughs> Peanut buttery. I love you. Love you, too. Have a great day riding. Remember Tyler's birthday party sleepover? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. I knew that. <laughs> All right, nice kicks. Thanks. I'm yeah. putting myself in Vanessa's shoes. Role playing has really helped with writer's block. Uh, Do you have a problem with it? Not at all. Kind of sexy, actually. Kind of? <laughs> what are you doing home early? Well, you are looking at the newest member of the EFWP, that is the Environmentally Friendly Work Program at the office, which gives me the ability to work from home four or five days a month, so I opted in. That's great. You can help me split time with the kids driving them. I did mention that I was working from home, right? Working. Vanessa back from the dead. She faked her death and is making up for lost time by using her take-no-prisoners attitude with men to a whole new level. Well, she was, uh, she was a real bitch in that first book, I'll tell you that. As if you read it. She wanted to be fulfilled. Yeah. Sexually. She was trapped in an identity that she didn't choose for herself. She had to take a stand, and being strong does not make her a bitch. Too short. You know, my drink is out. Why don't you top it up for me? At your service. Mm. Dad, could you also get us a refill, too? Um, no. You are young enough to get your own. Oh. oh. Shelly, it's the first week of school, and my nights are jammed. Can I just get a little extension, please? Fine, I'll ask, but this better be your best work. New York Times bestseller. Promises, promises. Bye. Uh -huh. Mom. Anna, you're home early. Yeah, it was a half day, which clearly you forgot that 
Jenny just got her permit. She drove us. I'm sorry. Hey, um, I wanted to introduce you to someone. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Peterson. Mom! Are you okay? I've read all your books. I'm a big fan. Mom. I'm just shocked. I, I, um, I didn't think it would be your demographic. All right, well, I'm gonna get James. We're going to the mall. Be right back. Let me help you. I don't need your help. I don't mind. What are you doing here? How did you find me? You said you like surprises. No, not like this. Why not? What are you doing with my daughter? You said to find someone my own age. She is in high school. So am I, senior. How old are you? Old enough to know we would be good together. I told you this is done. I have a family. Lots of women are marrying younger men. I told Ready. You look great. <laughs> Doesn't she look great, Mrs. Peterson? Hi, Mom. See you, Ms. Peterson. You see me. So, how was the mall? It was fun. Brady bought me this charm bracelet. You barely know him. Mom, he is the hottest boy in school. He just moved here and everyone's talking about him and he likes me. Brady seems too mature for you. Uh huh? <laughs> Who's Brady? And his new boyfriend. Knock it off. And no, he's not my boyfriend yet. Although he did ask me today. When did this happen? This afternoon. But don't worry. I told him we should probably have a few more dates before we make anything official. So, Brady asked you out. Yeah, I was surprised too. Who's Brady? Brady is the new boy in school. He's a man. What? How old is he? He's only one year older than me. So he's 18? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you should probably just stay focused on school for now. Your father's right. I want you to stay focused on school, not Brady. Why are you guys so against him liking me? Other boys can like you. Just don't date Brady. How can you say that, Mom? I know his type, and I want you to stay away from him. You need to listen to me. <laughs> just forget it. I'm not hungry. <sighs> Um, Steph, um, we should probably give her the benefit of the doubt here. Uh, we don't even know the kid. He's probably perfectly nice. No, he is not nice. Anna? <sighs> Anna, I'm concerned. I want you to think about this boy. You barely know him. He's a nice guy, Mom. How do you know? Because I do. Gosh, a guy likes me and you act like it's the end of the world. Besides, Brady is just a friend, not my boyfriend. Maybe it's best you stay away from him altogether, okay? Yeah, and who's next? Jenny? No, just Brady. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm worried about Anna. Oh, she's smart. Besides, you know, kids these days. Probably be over in a week. I'm glad you're back. It feels so good to be back. Who's that? It's Shelly. What's she calling this lady for? I'm nearing a deadline. No. Mm. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, no, I'm I'm working on that. What's the matter? Can't talk. Kevin's there, isn't he? You've really let him back in. Listen, can we talk about this tomorrow? Great. I'm sorry, I'll tell her not to call so late. Yeah. No problem. Uh, I'm just gonna take a shower.
I don't know. Probably just dad. Leave it. Well, what if it's important? It's not. Just leave it. I can put it on silent for you. Anna, I want you to break up with Brady. What? I know his type, and he's just gonna break your heart. You hardly even know him, Mom. I know enough to know that he's not right for you. Whatever. Honey, I'm serious. I don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, sure you don't. What are you doing here? You told Anna to break up with me so we could be together. Not so we could be together. I want you out of my life. Stephanie, listen. Make love to me one more time. And after, if you can honestly say that you still don't feel anything for me, then I'll leave you alone. Get in here. Listen to me. You have to let me go. You're young. You think that you love me, but it's just a chemical thing. It's not real. As you get older, you will realize that this could never work. So please, just leave me and my daughter alone. How do you know it won't work? You haven't even tried. I've never felt this way about anyone. Surely that means something. Brady. I don't love you. <gasps> but how can you love your husband, even though he can't satisfy you the way I can? I can't. I can't. We have to go. Let's go now. I know you have feelings for me. Kevin isn't right for you. You have to realize this. Please, think about us. You okay? Yeah, you just startled me. I'm so sorry. I'm just very, very excited right now. What's going on? I have got huge news. I just landed a new client. An investment bank. And I gotta tell you something. My commission check today alone was $50,000. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. I love you so much. I love you. Hmm. Fork on the right or left? Left. Right. No, she means left. I was just about to go to bed. So, did you break up with Brady? Yeah, Mom, I did. Well, it's probably for the best. You should just focus on school. It's a big year. And then college next year. I know, Mom. It's fine. He's just another boy. It's not like I loved him or anything. Yeah, well... Okay. Sleep well. Good night. Night. Uh. 
And in bed? Yep. Hmm. She doing okay? She was a little quiet at dinner tonight, even with the good news. She broke up with Brady. Oh, well, I kind of don't like her having a boyfriend anyway, to be honest. So, hmm? What? Bills are paid. Got a little extra money in the bank. Shall we uh, celebrate? Huh? What is this? Ah, you know, a little champagne, some jazz, romance. You told her no, right? No, I said it was okay. Why would you do that? We agreed. Brady's a bad influence on her. Uh, I met him this morning at drop-off. He seems like a nice kid to me. No, Kevin, he's not. How do you know? I mean, we just met the kid. Mother's intuition. I don't want him around Anna. Okay, sorry. I should have checked with you first. It's fine. I'll call Anna and tell her to come home. Anna, it's mom. I need you to come home after school. I I just need your help with some things. Call me. Read it. Whatever, sure. Hey, be nice to my friends. It's fine. I was telling her. Anna, um. I can't get back with you, Brady. What did I do wrong? I really like you. It's not you, it's just. I can't be in a relationship right now. Is that you talking or your mother? She doesn't want me to be with you. Anna, we'll go slow. If you're worried about having sex, then. then we won't. Just give it some time. I'm sure your mom will like me. No, I've just, I've got a lot to do. I've got SAT prep. I've got to keep my grades up for college. And I won't get in the way of any of that. I really like you. Let's just spend some time together. Hmm? Don't let your mother's hesitations get in the way of us. She forgets what it's like to be alive. You know that's my favorite. <laughs> so that's a yes. Maybe. Go! <laughs> Anna, off the phone. It's just Jenny.
Kevin? Hello? brought her back. Put those down. Oh. Is this the only copy? How did you get in? The front door blew open. I rang the bell. No, you didn't. Must be broken. What do you want? Truce. I didn't start this. Talking with Anna, she said that you married young. And now, your writing is just a way to live out your fantasies. Because you are not happy. That's not true. Come on. After everything we've been through, each character you write has some truthful aspect of you in it. Carla, the architect, she's the cautious part of you. And Madison is the intellectual filled with theories and ideas. And well, we both know who Vanessa is. But who am I? Mark? A strong man with little to say. No? no I didn't think so. Maybe John. Mysterious rich man who only wants one thing. You are nothing. Nothing! Anna, 
Gonna need you on the green beans there in a minute. What? What's that? Honey, I checked on you earlier. Are you, uh, you were passed out cold. You feeling all right? Um. That's a nice car, Mr. Peterson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you work hard enough. You can have one just like her. I intend to. Already applied to college. Oh, yeah? What are you studying? Finance. Get out of here. That's, that was what I had a degree in. <laughs> it's boring as hell, but uh, pays off. <laughs> I know. Hey. Ready? Uh, all right. Have a good day, Mr. Peterson. Well, where are you guys going? The lake. All right, be safe. Okay. Of course. Where's she going? Um, on a date? We agreed. No Brady. It's not exactly what I said. Yes, it is. Honey, she's 17 years old. I mean, I don't like it any more than you do, but we have to let her have some fun. She needs to focus on school right now. This is a very critical time for her. I couldn't agree more. But she already gets straight A's. I mean, what I'm more concerned about right now is how we're going to pay her tuition when she goes off to college next year. Speaking of which, um, how's your book coming? It's not. Thank you for dinner. I had a lot of fun today. Anna, if you want to take it slow, right? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, hello. You raped me. Don't ever touch me again. You raped me. You raped me. Don't. I didn't touch you. You fell asleep. And I'm not a pig. Don't ever touch me again. Or what? What are you going to do? I'll call the police. Tell them what? That you slept with a high school student? <gasps> Stephanie. Just spend some time with me. And if you don't feel anything, then I'll leave you alone. So you didn't sound good on the phone. What's going on with you? Well, when Kevin and the kids were away this summer, I kind of had a fling. Kind of or not? Vanessa did. I don't follow. I was pretending to be Vanessa. It was like wearing a mask. I convinced myself that everything Vanessa did, I wouldn't be responsible for. So how was it? Tell me everything. Leave nothing out. No, it's not OK. When Kevin came back, I broke up with the guy. And now he won't go away. I care about my family. And if Kevin finds out that I slept with this guy or Anna. OK, first, you have nothing to feel guilty about. At the time you were with this guy, Kevin had left and divorce papers were filed, right? 
Yeah. And when Kevin came back, you did the right thing. You dumped this guy. So what's the problem? He won't leave me alone. Shelly, when Kevin and the kids were out, he broke into the house and drugged me. Stephanie, what are you doing? He broke in and drugged you? That's a crime. I know. Call the police. I can't. And why not? He's in high school. High school? Steph, I said young, but is he under 18? No. Please, I just... I need a little more time for the book. <clears throat> just need to get this whole mess sorted out, please. They're not going to be happy, but I'll buy you a couple of weeks. But Stephanie, you've got to tell Kevin. It's better he hears it from you first. Guys, settle down, be ready, okay? Where's Robbie? He's already been picked up. By whom? Uh, I don't know. He was really excited and he said his ride was here, so I dismissed him. And you didn't see which car he got into? I'm so sorry, no. You were supposed to be watching these kids. Kevin, if you have Robbie, please call me back. He wasn't at the school. Hi, it's Anna. Don't Anna. send me to voicemail, Anna. Come on. safe and sound. Brady took me for ice cream. Thanks, Brady. I saved you a trip to school. Didn't Kevin tell you? No. Only authorized people are supposed to pick up my kids from school. <sighs> Kevin said it's fine. Well, Anna's waiting for me at the mall. We've got a date. I will call the police if you don't leave us alone. I'd love to talk to them. Bye. Hey, babe. So sorry I'm late. We got this merger going on between a company here and one in Beijing and the time differences and this <laughs> Why did you have Brady pick up Robbie from school? Why would I tell him to do that? He's not our family. I wouldn't have him pick our son up from school. Robbie got home okay, right? Yeah. All right, thank God for that. Uh, I need to talk to you about something. Sure. <sighs> this is really hard to say. Turn it off. Let me see. Let me see. Give me a couple minutes. I'll make it fast. Okay. Hey, Doug. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got the number three. Let me see. 
Aren't you going to be late? Yes, I am, but I can't find my phone. Is it Anna? Hi. Is my phone on the table up there? Is that the garage door closing? Yeah, but it shouldn't be. I left the car running. Robbie's in there. The car can't be left running. Open the door. Get him out. It's extremely dangerous to be in a closed garage with the car running. Those fumes can kill you. Why did you close the garage? I didn't. How could you leave the garage door shut? <laughs> I didn't leave the garage door shut. It was wide it's open when I was. Okay. Went... You'll be okay. Yeah. All right, Dad. We should have left five minutes ago. Come on. Hey, well, you're gonna be late today. How did the garage door get closed? I don't know. It just did. That's not possible. Let's go, pal. Oh, hey, your key. Um, by the way, your garage door opener, it's missing. this. I was surprised to get your call. Let's walk. Lied to you. I led you on. I was wrong. So you're going to take my proposal? How much? What do you mean? I write you a check to disappear from my family. How much? How much? You can't buy me. Everybody has a price. I want you. You are stalking my family. Let me be a part of it. I know we can make this work. You're sick. I like this new you. It gets me up. You know the deal. Be with me one more time. I will never be with you. You control our destiny, Stephanie. Leave Kevin, he doesn't love you like I do.
I mean, this is my first million dollar deal. And everybody knows that all the big deals go down on the golf course, not in the boardroom, sure, right? Sure, sure. <laughs> well, by the time we get to the ninth hole, all three of these Alaskan businessmen have heat stroke. So the moral of this story is you never go golfing in Arizona in the dead of summer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, honey, I had the craziest blowout on the freeway. I almost drove my car right off the road. But thank God Brady passed by, man, I'll tell you that. It's a small world, isn't it? Uh, that it is. Whew. Hey, if you want to, you're welcome to stay for dinner. Uh, it's my night to cook, so I always order in. I'm gonna do Chinese, maybe Thai. What do you like better? No, we have other plans tonight. Yeah, I should probably go, Mr. Peterson. Brady, you know, we would love to meet your parents sometime. Why don't you give me their number, and that way I can call and formally introduce myself. What do you think? Maybe this weekend we could do a big, happy family gathering? I would love to meet your mom. I bet we'd get along great. Uh, Steph, I... Don't you think? At this point, Mother should meet and talk. My father's on an extended work trip, but maybe when he gets back. Bye, Mr. Peterson. Thanks again, kid. Hey, if you're free this weekend, uh, happy to take you down to the club, hit the driving range. On me, of course. Yeah. Sounds fun. <sighs> Honey. What? When he told me that his mom is dead, I just... I don't think that's true. Why would he lie? Makes a better story. This isn't a novel. Some people gain sympathy any way they can. Hey, Jenny. Hi, Mr. Peterson. Anna told me you got a job here, so I thought I'd come in, say hi, grab a coffee. Hey, do you know anything about Brady, Anna's new boyfriend? I stay away from him. He's not nice to me or anyone but Anna. He's barely at school anyway. How so? Shows up late, leaves around lunch. I'm not sure what classes he takes. Does he have any classes with Anna? I'm not sure. Once they started going out, he was rude to me, told me to get lost. Anna and I don't talk anymore. Do you know his last name? No, sorry. Thanks. I'll take that coffee to go.
Don't you lie to me, boy! You're stealing from me! I'm not! I didn't take anything from you! There's two grand missing from my safe at the garage. I didn't take anything! And if you touch me again, I will kill you. It's the last time you're gonna see me. I'm done with you, boy! What do you want? I need to talk to you about Brady. You police? No. Then get out of here. Me and that boy are done. Please. Then I don't want to hear it. That boy done something wrong. You take it up with the cops. But you leave me out of it. I'm sorry. Get out of here. Oh, hi, Mom. Hey, hon. Robbie, go to your room so I can have a word with your sister and your father. Ooh, can I play video games? Go ahead. Yes. School night. What's up? What's going on? Sweetie, you're my daughter and I love you. But you need to see this. Is that Brady? He's a drug dealer. It doesn't look like he's selling drugs. Anna, open your eyes. Come on. That's a lie, Mom. I saw him. So you followed my boyfriend around? Because we knew that something wasn't right with him, and now we know. OK, so instead of coming and talking to me, you go and follow him around and take photos? Who does that, I Mom? did talk to you. You wouldn't listen. Mom, Brady likes me, and he cares about me. No, he okay, doesn't. He does. He's yes, using... he does, Mom. I've, I've seen this before. Where do you come up with this me. stuff, Mom? Listen to me. We need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I know what I'm talking about. Anna. Until you stop seeing him, you're grounded. Grounded? <sighs> you know, Brady was right. You don't care about me. Anna. You don't. Anna, you don't, Mom! No Stephanie. What? You followed him? Well, I had to do something. You weren't doing anything. And what? I know he is not a good person, Kevin. I know. How? We've barely spoken two words to the kid. Is there something you're not telling me? No. Go find Anna. Got up the phone with Joyce. She's over at Jenny's. Everything is fine. <sighs> Honey, if this kid is really selling drugs and manipulating our daughter against us, he loses my sympathy. I think we are totally justified in calling the cops. No police. Why? Hey, guys. I'm hungry. All right. Well, uh, guess I'm going to order some pizza, and then we'll watch a movie, all right? All right. Don't worry. Everything's going to work out. We got to talk. What did your mother say about me this time? How do you know it's about her? Because she's had it out to get me since day one. 
and she's taking her marriage out on us. Am I right? She said she'd deal drugs. Why would I do that? I have a picture. A picture of what? Who took that? My mom. Look, is that what you do when you skip school in the afternoon? I skip school because it's boring. Those are my friends. I'm not a dealer. Look, I was buying a phone off of Craigslist with the receipt and everything. I gotta get home. Anna, wait. Anna! Anna, wait. The problem with your mother is she's put all of these ideas into your head. She's got you wound up tight. Hey, please. Look, I don't deal drugs. I really care about you. You're confused and emotional because she's made you that way. So, don't let that come between us, okay? Come on, I've got a surprise for you. Jenny's waiting for me. Come on, Anna. Live in the moment. You know you want to. All right. Why does it hurt, right? The jacket cover is not approved. Fix it or my client pulls the book. Please tell me you have at least the first chapter. No. I, I need some advice. Brady's dating Anna. Say that again? He goes to her school and they're dating. Oh, Steph, sit down. He's of legal age, Stephanie. Call the police. I can't. For the first time, my marriage to Kevin is working. He is really trying to be a good husband and succeeding. This could ruin everything. I can't have that. This will ruin everything. Brady asked for one thing, and then he promised to leave us alone. A million dollars? To sleep with me one last time. <gasps> wow! That's pretty great, isn't it? This is so nice. Care for a drink? I, I don't drink. Well, today, you do. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's good. Great. How incredible is that view? It's just amazing, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, it feels good to have like a knot right there. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Whoa, there, Cowboy. Hey, you can do what you want. It's okay. Yeah, I know, and I, I don't want that. Stop! Don't be like your whore mother. Brady, stop! Don't get off. What are you like doing, Brady? Anna, wait! Where's Anna? She's up there. Anna? <laughs> Anna? <laughs> Did he hurt you? No, I don't want to talk about it. I don't. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't tell me that you're going to protect some criminal's rights. 
There should be a formal investigation or whatever you call it. Mrs. Peterson. Let me finish. Okay. And I do not want my daughter's name thrown around. I know how these things work. She is the victim. Mrs. Peterson, what I'm trying to tell you is Brady had already been expelled from our district. Over this? Actually, another situation at another school. I had no idea he was even on our campus. What situation? Legally, I can't tell you. However, I highly recommend that if there's issues going on outside of school, please contact the police. Actually, let me provide you with the number to make things easier for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Kevin? I uh, found this in my inbox. Vanessa is back from the dead and has an affair with a high school student named Brady. All the illicit details, dates, times, it's way too accurate not to be true. It even says that Vanessa is jealous of her daughter, Anna, dating Brady. Stephanie, what is this? He could have made that up. Role playing. Isn't that what you called it? He made that up. Oh, yeah, did he make this up? Huh? Did he make that up? While you and I were separated, I met Brady in a bar. How old is this kid? 18, okay? I wasn't breaking any laws, and I thought you and I were done. So you slept with him? Kevin. Answer me! Yes. So you lose faith in us and just decide, what the hell? Yes, but it was a mistake. I was weak. It was a moment. And then you came back, and I want to make this marriage work. I chose us, and I told him it was over. This is why you didn't want us to go to the police, isn't it? So I wouldn't find out. I begged him to stay away from us. I fought for Anna to stay away from him. You are responsible for all of this. <laughs> what a creep. I, I should have uh, listened to you. I'm sorry. Brady, what are you doing here? Get in the car. Why do you have Shut up Jenny, Jenny, and Jenny, get in the car. Brady. Drive. Key in the car. Yes, there you go. Drive. You are going to jail. Uh, Anna? Yeah, me and Anna are having an adventure, aren't we? Don't you hurt her. You know what I want. And if you call the cops or anyone else, you can say goodbye to Anna forever. Where are you? Kevin, Brady has Anna. What? Brady has Anna. She's in trouble. And I think he's going after Robbie, too. You have to go get him. No, I'm calling the police. No, don't. I should have done this a long time ago. Kevin, don't. We've issued an Amber Alert. Surrounding states and local counties have been notified. Brady won't get far. Thank you, officer. You have any idea why he would want to abduct her? He, uh, he tried to hurt her. He uh, tried to force himself on her in a hotel room, but she ran. 
I'm gonna need you to stay put. If we get any news, I'll give you a call. Is Anna gonna be okay? Yes, baby, she's gonna be fine. You promise? Hey, uh, Robbie, buddy. Why don't you go on upstairs and watch the TV? I'll uh, be up there in a minute, okay? Come on. Love you. <sighs> Stephanie. I said no police. Kevin called the police. I didn't know about that. I'm sorry. Where's Anna? Is she okay? We need to meet. Where? The last place you kissed me and meant it. And if I see anyone else, cops, Kevin, anyone. Mom! Anna? Oh, that son of a bitch! I'm getting the cop. Hey, he said no cops. You heard him. What am I going to do? Stand around here and do nothing? That's my daughter. Our daughter, Kevin. I am so sorry. I never meant to hurt you or the kids or anyone. But I have to finish this alone. Then he's going to hurt you. Maybe. But if I can buy Anna just a moment to get away in exchange for my life, then that's what I have to do. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm coming with you. He'll kill her. You heard him. I have to go alone. It'll be okay, though. I promise I'm, I'm going to be fine. Don't go. Honey, mommy's going to be fine. You take care of him. He's ours, too. Where's Brady? I'm sorry. Where's Brady? I'll see you later. Steph, just wait. Wait. We have been through so much together. And through all of this, I have never, ever once stopped loving you. So please, you have to come home with our daughter. I love you. He said if I told anyone her left, he'd kill her. Stay here. Brady, please don't, okay? Shut up. Anna! Mom! Mom, please help me! You remembered. You know that means something. And I always thought you were in denial about it. Let her go. And I'm all yours. And now you make it sound so easy. I came alone. Nobody knows that I'm here. She's innocent, Brady. I'm the victim here. My only crime was that I loved you and you lied to me. Yes. And I am sorry. I'm so sorry. You hurt me. And now it's my turn to hurt you. No, Brady! No. I'm not over you. You're a snake. You know that it takes me a long time to make a decision. And I choose you, Brady. Go, Anna, leave. Leave! Okay. Stephanie stays. Go! <laughs> so what do we do now? We go home. I don't have a home. Together, we can change that. I've met your father. I know he's not good. You don't have to be like him. Be with me. I want more moments like the ones we've had together. Just us. Because I truly understand now that you love me. And I love you. You're the only one who ever really cared about me. Give me the gun. There's no way out for us, Stephanie. This is our end! All right. Dad, 
bad. Oh, good. Got your camera, huh? All right. All right. See you have this again. Oh, my bad. It is not even that heavy. Oh. Hey, honey. How are the tires? Uh, well, there was uh, a nail in one, but I got it fixed. And we're all good. Guess what came today? My new book. Oh, babe. Shelly swears it's going to be a bestseller. Well, I know it will be, because you wrote it. <laughs> All right, who's ready for a Christmas vacation? We right here. I think I want to go snowboarding this year. Let's go. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Under your hats. 